Okay, so I think we we did get a contract. If I've been playing with it and doing some research, getting weird errors, trying different values, thinking that that was the issue. And what I really think was the issue of why I could not deploy the contract was the fact that there was something funny in one of in either the um, let me bring this up so I can. Either the, uh, uh, what do they call it, the, the bytecode or the ABI. The, something was off with one of those. So what I did is I went back into uh, a different um, uh, Docker and I had a very simple, let me see if I can bring it up. Uh, let's see. Let's find and see if I can show you. Uh, that's app. Let's see if it's this one. No, not that one. Uh, There we go. I think this is is the one we want, and I'm gonna bring it up here. Okay, so what's going on here is I brought up another Docker, and I found a very simple hello world. I figured can't. Can't be any simpler than that if what we're trying to do is see if we can deploy something. So I ran through the steps of um, that we did the other day of uh, getting the ABI compiling, uh, running SOL to turn to an LL file, and then I ran the compile of the LL and got a, a, a deploy WASM and ran this command here which produces the byte code then what i did let me since this one is now blocking let me show you the one i want to show you let's make this a little s smaller and see if i can find i'm going to put this all right let's see what we got here um, no, nope. we want that below. Here we go. This is the one we want. Um, no, not that. We want this one, and I want to make this a little bigger so you can see it. And we're going to push it to the... Okay. Now... So what I then did is I ran through the steps that were being problematic yesterday or the other day and you can see here what I did is I brought up the the dev chain and it's or attached to the dev chain and then I set the byte code based on what we had done in the other window Got the account, got the ABI again from what we got in the other one. So we know these were accurate for that contract. Then got the contract, set the addresses, used the parameters they specified, and then um, and then decided, yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna run, and uh, got us our. Let's see. So we ran this. Let's see if I can get to the, uh, ran this, and we got our ABI, we got a transaction hash, and let's see what we got here. Did not... That's interesting. And 
We got a contract address. So we finally got a contract address. And I'm not sure what that is. But a co contract address did come out. Let's, let's try this again from uh, and it gives you a contract address. So, so the key probably was that there was something funny with the contract. Uh, two hour and um, let me see if I can go. Oh, see what I can show you from my failed attempts. Uh, intrinsic gas too low. If I didn't include a gas amount, I tried doing this, and it still came back with contract code. This is the one that, when I did some more research, said, you know, you could have something funny in your contract. And it seems to want it in, I guess, these, uh, what, um, way, perhaps. Uh, it gets very confusing in terms of way versus way versus uh, but it, it seemed eventually in the end once we had a proper contract it seemed to be very happy to take this uh, five th these values and I think that may be in let me see somewhere on in one of my Let's see. This is in. Well, this is in way, and then some of the other numbers I saw were in way. I think it's way because way is bigger than way. So, and they don't use ether. Yeah, this is, this one is done in gray, and I don't even know if you can change that, the calculator I was looking at. So anyway, what I found here is I used their values that were, I believe, in gray. I made sure, if you're doing this, you're going through the steps, make sure that you have a correct uh, byte code that you get, have your script, you get your byte code, and then you get your ABI and use those exact ones. You know, it's the byte code has to be done, has to be put in uh, as a string. The ABI is, it looks like it's, uh, it looks like a an array yeah an array it looks maybe json no no i don't think you would have the curly brace at the end but an array it's an array so you got here constant true inputs name and string name and say hello outputs payable state mutability and let me go back to that window where we to find everything. Which one is that? Uh, so, real simple. <laughs> it, it's just, let me show it to you. Um, if we can see it. Real simple. It's just like Contract Hello World uh, got one method that says say hello world and public pure because it's just returning what you put in. It's not getting any of the data. It's not writing, changing any of the state of the contract. There is no data in this contract and that's why they can be called pure and you just return the name and that's it so we were able to get this to run and um, what I really would like to do 
Let's see if I can do something in Rust and get that to, to deploy, to compile down to Iwasm and then deploy it on here. I'm going to have to do some more research for that. But for tonight, hopefully this has been helpful. Um, if it has, please uh, subscribe, ring the bell. You notice I did a little rebranding there on the channel. I really wanted it branded and then my personal stuff separated out. So uh, I realized that was a little safer than trying to... You, there is a way in YouTube to essentially copy a channel over another one and I didn't know, I was a little nervous about that and I thought, well, rebranding might just work. So um, that's what I tried. I changed the name and then I changed the name of what I'm calling it now, um, Procedural Nodes, which is going to be my brand. I changed the name of the other one to my name dash personal and then I was able to so so that I think will will be a good way to go so we have my brand matching the stuff I'm doing on here anyway um, please uh, if this is interesting please subscribe I need I think 17 more subscribe subscribers to, to be able to get a a custom URL so um, hope, hope, hopefully that'll happen and um, ring the bell so you get every day's videos uh, tell your friends if, if this is a topic they're interested in and there's just so much exciting stuff going on this is exciting you have um, uh, we we talked the other day about um, was it Ethermint which is exciting. Different. It's not the same thing because they they're not doing exactly Ethereum too. But it is interesting in terms of moving to um, proof of stake and um, so and improve. I believe they made some other improvements, speed and things like that. So, anyway, thank you again for watching, and uh, I will speak to you next time.